Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today on my channel. Have you ever struggled with paint colors? Have you ever decided to repaint a room? Or maybe you've moved into a new house and you have an entire house to decide on what you're gonna do with paint colors. Most people have. It's a very challenging uh, project to take on and uh, sometimes seems very open-ended without any real um, formula or a way to determine how to uh, pick out colors. So I'm gonna share with you a little design tip that uh, uh, designers use in, in um, conjunction with how they think about their rooms when they're designing it. And, and I would say the first thing that you need to think of is don't think about your house as a whole. Think about each room and making them flow together. So start in one room and then move on to the next, but make sure that you you're have a flow as you're going along. The rule that I'm talking about today is the 60-40-10 rule. And what, how we're going to demystify that and we're going to demystify how you can pick out paint and decor items by using that rule. The rule states that 60% of your room is the dominant color. That's the color that maybe you're going to pick for the majority of your walls. I suggest that when you're thinking about like your whole downstairs your whole floor, you know, like the downstairs and then maybe the upstairs, that you try to make sure these colors all marry in together. You don't want one room to have, you know, a nice serene, um, whitish, creamy color and then go into another room that's connected and, and bamo you're into like some bright uh, blue or something like that. Those kinds of situations don't make for cohesiveness in your decor. So what you want is to have some symmetry and to have some flow. So using this rule can help you with that. So 60% of your um, room is going to be the dominant color, 40% will be your secondary color, and 10% will be your accent color. So how you can think about this is, uh, I'll insert a picture here right now um, of my dining room. So the majority of my room is gray. I have white accents, so that's my trim, and I have a uh, you know a board, a bead board around half of the wall, so more than half of the wall, or about 40% of the wall, is um, white, and then I have black accents. So my frames are black. I have two chairs in there are black, and my rug is black. So that's how that's how that room is flowing. This room in particular is mostly gray and white, and I have um, accents of uh, um, green and uh, with plants and some browns and things like that. So um, my living room is a different situation. I have a gray, a gray again, and I have white with the trim, but then I have like natural woods as my accent color. So I'll, like I said, I'll insert some pictures so you can see kind of what I'm talking about. You could use this in two ways. You can use it just with the paint, but you could also use it with, and when I say that, I mean like, let's say you like an accent wall and you want an accent wall, so you want three of your walls to be one color, but you want one wall to be another color. Again, you want it to be cohesive and balanced. So you don't want to take like a gray and use a red. You want to take two colors that go together. So gray and blue are beautiful. So you take the lighter gray and then you find a complementary color in the blue. Maybe you want to deepen it a little bit to have that be an accent color. Always remember that with darker colors, you're going to close your room in a little bit more. That's not always a bad thing but just remember that's what's going to happen. You can also just use it for the paint plus the decor, the furniture, the decor pieces, your coffee table, uh, the accents that you're gonna have in the room. So um, just in general, remember 60, 40, 10. 60 dominant, 40 secondary, and 10% is your accent. And that should help you to give you a little bit of a formula as you're moving forward, as you're trying to redecorate or decorate a new home. Thanks for joining me today. I would love to just, for you to subscribe and join me for more tips like this and other content, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.